Hey guys, in this adventure, we head up to Charlevoix, Michigan, where we visit with Steve Bowen from ExtremeTears.com. Steve is the Midwest rep for ExtremeTears.com. He sells and rents teardrop trailers. These are the extreme off-road models. They come in a wide variety of sizes, 5x9, 5x10, uh, off-road models, all the way down to the casual models, and all different price points. Price points can range from eight, nine thousand dollars, and depending on your options, can go up to um, twelve to fifteen thousand dollars. Steve doesn't manufacture the trailers; they're actually made down in Alabama from a trailer manufacturer who's made trailers for over thirty years. I met up with Steve right off 31 as you're heading up to Charlevoix in Michigan where we picked up our rental for the weekend. It was a 2017 XTR off-road edition. So Steve did a great job showing us everything about the teardrop, how to work it, how to run it, how the awning worked. We hooked it up to our vehicle and we were on the road. The greatest thing about these small trailers is how lightweight they are. You can tow them with any kind of vehicle. They only weigh about 1,400 pounds, so as you can imagine, it towed really well. We did notice a little bit of sway with our bike rack off the back of the tier. This also limits you accessing the galley if you stop for a quick lunch like we did along the way. So if we go and purchase one, we would definitely option the roof rack so that we could place our bikes up top. Make it a lot easier to get into the galley if you did make a stop. So we continued our journey into Petoskey, where we stayed at the local KOA. Yeah, it's a little bit Glamperville for this kind of trailer, but we were mainly trying to test out the trailer and see what it's all about. Let's take a closer look. Hey guys, I just rented this teardrop for the weekend, just to see if uh, something we want to pursue. This is the ExtremeTears.com XTR Plus model. This one comes in around 15,000. It is about 1,400 pounds to tow it. And I thought I'd do a walkthrough of all its features. Now they make these in all different price points, starting around $9,000 for the weekend model. And they have different levels. You have to check out their website. But uh, all different levels, and they go up to about 15,000 on the high end. This one, this rental is fully loaded. So I'll go through and try to show you some of the things that are features, some of the things that are options, just to give you a feel for their product. So starting in the front here, this thing will pull behind anything. There's a standard two-inch ball, and you got your standard jack crank. In the front, they have a box, tongue box. And it stores two batteries, also is solar capable. The tubes here are for the climate air system, which is on the front here. And this air unit is our option. And you hook up these two white tubes, and you connect them here, and this goes into the cabinet. And then you can have full remote controlled heat and air. So this front window here, this is an option. Uh, the roof rack on top, that's an option. Uh, fan, that's also an option. This one's got it all. And if you look at the back here, you got the full ARB awning. Um, that's also an option if you want that. And the sides here, you have night lights that are LED. Down below, they have these little storage drawers. Pull that out and you can store stuff inside there. Put your dirty shoes in before you go in at night. This model has a 15 inch wheel. You can option it with an 18 inch wheel. And this is the uh, Extreme Tears logo on their website. So as we come around back here to the galley area, this table here is an option. Just hooks on the side of the trailer and then has one single support leg. Very nice to have the table. As you can see, we set the stove there. That worked out perfectly for this trip. Around back here, all the tiers are known for their galleys, the rear cooking area. 
Yeah. <laughs> Wendy's gonna show you. So inside here, what do we got? We got the sink. We got the sink there, the which has a 10 gallon water tank that's down below. And that can be filled off the side of the trailer. And there also is the inverter down there below. Um, storage on this side, which we've used as kind of a pantry, put all the food goods. Goes in pretty deep. Yeah, goes in a long ways there. Good, probably foot. Yeah, probably. Yeah, somewhere on a foot. So everything is optionable. The cabinets, everything can be custom made. The whole rear galley. So there's a lazy Susan here, and on the back side that swivels. There's a TV. We'll show you on the inside. We're just using it as storage. They have speakers here that run to the uh, stereo system on the inside, which is Bluetooth compatible and uh, has ports that plug into your phone. So as we look over at this cabinet, so down below here, you have your 120 and then you have uh, cigarette plugs. So you've got a couple USBs for your phone, chargers. We've used that a lot. That works out well. Then you get your 12 volt and you can see you got your voltage indicator for your batteries. We've got cabinets here on the uh, right side of the galley, and the top one is solid. Goes in. How far does that go in, Wendy? About a foot, like it did on the other side. Yeah, roughly a foot. And then on the inside, this one here is a pass-through. So she's going to open up the cabinet on the inside. And you can see that goes deep and goes all the way through. We're really like that. You can put clothes. You can put all your storage stuff in there and you can get it so if you quickly need to grab a rain jacket or coat or hat or something like that get to it fairly easy that's been very handy down below here is where you could put a Dometic fridge freezer combination or an ARB fridge freezer combination kind of the off-road models that run off uh, 120 12 volt um, we this rental one does not come with a fridge we used our pelican cooler but uh, the cooler won't fit in this space, so we've optioned it with storage. So we've got this plastic tub we just optioned to put our storage items in. And uh, it's nice that you can roll it out, get what you need, and then roll it right back in. And this in the back is optioned with one single LED that's just a push on off. Uh, throws a fair amount of light, we did notice. Uh, last night we were just reading a book and being with the galley op door open all the time. It worked really well to be able to see at night time in the back. So in the two corners of the galley, these support legs here will hold uh, about 1,200 pounds. So all they do is they pin lock and drop down and help stabilize the trailer. It's not superly needed in a KOA campground that we're testing this trailer in. Not really needed, but we wanted to make it a little more stable side to side, so we dropped them down. So back in this lower galley area, that's where they have your DC-AC inverter. Um, and you get a couple more plugs over here in the corner. And then uh, on this side, you can see that's your water pump and fuse box. So we're just doing an overview of how we kind of set it up. Obviously, people do it all differently, but a lot of these teardrops we've seen. Um, you run your table on your, off to your side, you can put your stove there. We've got the Pelican cooler, which we absolutely love. We've got a work prep area there, and then um, the galley door we leave open all the time unless we're leaving and need to come back. We'll just leave it so it doesn't get affected by weather. Uh, our picnic table's right in the back, and then we have our 12 by 12 expanding awning, which a lot of teardroppers know that's a uh, nice thing to have for rain protection in the back if you're Prep, prepping your food. So in the back here we have your water connections, your water tank, water fill, and then down below here is your AC cord which you need plugged in if you want to use the climate right air conditioner you need to be on shore power but everything else could be run off the grid. There's your easy lube hubs and your 15 inch wheels that they put on. As you can see here, the fender is flat. We find this is great. They put a can on here. Um, 
but uh, on the other side it's completely flat I throw my shoes on here if you need to climb onto the roof it's fully you know you can climb onto it and you're not gonna hurt anything and then they provide a nice little step to get up onto the roof rack if you're gonna run bikes on the top roof rack or anything like that so down below they have these little storage tubs and you can put odds and ends that kind of thing you would store these in the teardrop and then when you get to camp or your location um, you can slide them in place and this will uh, store a couple of them away safe and tucked away from the weather and elements it's a nice little touch this motto comes with a highland uh, roof rack system which provides you with these these feet and these bars and you can mount stuff to it as you can see they've got an ARB awning on it we're not using it because we have the 12 by 12 um, awning in the back so we didn't need that and then on the side has your um, optional LED light which has been really great at nighttime and this is a uh, vent to the inside just for condensation moisture reasons like any travel trailer you want to have some moisture you want to have some ventilation so that works out well so on this model you have the doors that go all the way back and they provide little, little clamps to lock them in place so now your doors open and then they have little slide up screens so you can get some good ventilation in there last night we put this up to like the second notch and it was perfect to just get a little bit of fresh air in so now as we move to the inside you can see this uh, queen mattress um, goes all the way in there underneath the uh, foot area and then you've got your cabinets up top so when we we're showing you the outside galley area that one that passes through all the way is this lower one that goes all the way through to the galley eating area in the back and you've got nice storage we had plenty of room for all our clothes on both sides and it's this one's option with a TV in the middle that's on that lazy Susan that can spin to the outside galley area then you have your optional um, you've got your radio which is also Bluetooth compatible 12 volt uh, a gauge for voltage indication and uh, some USB plugs you got speakers on both sides for inside which is great they got built-in cup holders which is a nice touch so on the sides up top there that's your vents so you've got those vents on both sides that help with um, you know preventing any condensation and so on up top they got a nice rooftop vent and uh, that's awesome it pulls a lot of air through the teardrop so just by having that on it and having those side windows open you get plenty of ventilation also has one of these nice little push button lights and this LED light is extremely bright it's all you need for the whole inside of the place so now looking at the header bed area um, those white things are for the climate right on the outside when I was talked about how the air conditioner is an option it can be hooked up by the tubes those are just the intake and the output over here um, also this little shelf is absolutely amazing it catches all the little things so you've got you know keys you've got a little light you've got chargers my little knife anything just small you want to quickly throw in it's it's amazing how that works out so well you can just quickly open the door and throw things into that shelf they also provide you with a 120 outlet up there so you could lay something up there to charge at night by your head if you wanted that's a nice touch so you're probably wondering why i have all these brochures and cards well i asked Steve, who I rented this from in Charlevoix, I asked him for these um, because I was told these teardrops get a lot of attention. And boy, do they. I've passed out, I think, four of these now. And in gas stations, we stopped. We had a lot of people asking about it. What is it? What's inside it? How does it sleep? All kinds of questions. So it's been interesting interacting with, with fellow campers at this campsite. Uh, especially being it's a K way, there's a lot of people around, so everybody's intrigued of what it is and how it works. From that shelf, then down below these pillows, you have this open area, and this is just some sliding doors. It's you know six eight inches in there. It's enough to put smaller items that can go all the way across. 
to the other side and they provide two of these panels on either side on slides so you can get in or out of them he did have at his shop a uh, five by ten which then would give you more room here at the header this would be a lot bigger and you'd have a bigger tray up top if you would want a, a lot more room there so in the back they provide a power strip which gives you a lot of additional outlets on the inside this one it has a storage platform that's right behind the tongue box there's a 120 volt plug there to plug in the climate right it's fully diamond plated in the front it has the optional viewing window Here's a couple of shots that I took at nighttime so you could see what it looked like. Prepping food and walking around camp is no problem with all the nice LED lighting they provide. This is a nice little getaway for Wendy and I for a little anniversary getaway. And it was a perfect little trip with a perfect little trailer. If you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, smash that like button, share the video, and go see Steve at ExtremeTears.com. Thanks for watching. See you next time.